Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. In the last session we explored the Citadel in the aftermath of the attack by Cerberus and there was a lot of people to talk to, there were a lot of new quests to pick up, an absolute ton of quests to pick up and now we've returned to our ship and uh, we need to go around and talk to everyone, get their opinions on things, how are they feeling after that pretty major event that just happened. And uh, yeah, we will start off, of course, down here. See how Joker's doing. Cerberus is gonna have a hard time recruiting now. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't Cheers. you used to work for those assholes? <laughs> Something about leather seats? I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they were never vigilantes changed. helping the helpless, Joker. Evil. You knew the full well. That you kicked their asses. And Cadence back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. <laughs> you knew full well, having been here throughout all of Mass Effect 1, the absolutely fucking atrocious things they were doing. So don't give me that, oh, you know, just vigilantes helping the helpless. They were fully into murder and torture and all that shit. Go easy on Cade. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not going to look good on the yearly performance review. <laughs> Commander. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Moss. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. <laughs> the Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Go for it. Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? Yeah, whatever it wants to be. Same same answer as what is the purpose of organic life? Just there is no overarching purpose. I mean, there some people believe in a, in a bigger purpose, like in religion or whatever. So if that's what they believe, then that's their purpose. But uh, in general, it's just whatever you make it. You know, it's not that different from organic life. A free willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not no, so I wouldn't clear. agree with that. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. To say that the purpose of organic life is just to, like, have kids, well, that would mean that the many, many people that choose not to have kids are failing in their purpose, but that's not the case because it's only like their purpose if they want it to be and by choosing not to have kids that means that isn't their purpose so I disagree with that take reproduction isn't all there is we find meaning in the work we do good deeds we accomplish love I see I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest it appears many humans did in fact do so that was quick Gotta love quantum computing. <laughs> Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, I mean, love. I'm not telling you you have to have the same Wait, goals as me. You're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Hmm. Like, those are good things to aspire to, for sure, but... It'd be better if, uh, you could... Oh, nice, we just got her power unlocked. Like, the, the, the best outcome would be you choosing for yourself what the things you want to aspire to would be, right? Are you and Caden okay? The last time he saw that body, it wasn't exactly pleasant. <laughs> I have informed him of the situation. He is taking it well. Good. Hello, Shepard. Yeah, I mean, he's probably taking it well because kind of look hot. <laughs> but yeah, if anyone's purpose is whatever they want it to be, whatever they feel is purposeful for them in their life, like, 
I'm finding purpose from making YouTube videos and entertaining people at the moment. Like, that is something that I was, I, I, I felt purposeless, uh, like, four years ago, or whenever I started. Uh, out of uni, didn't have a job. Uh, wasn't wasn't doing anything and I definitely felt like purposeless and then I finally was like hey you know what I'm gonna start doing this YouTube thing that I've been wanting to do like for ages but just never had the money to get games or the time to do whatever like or to even set up the recording stuff in the first place and uh, I finally was in a position where I could do that and so I started doing that and then that was like that gave me a sense of purpose and, yeah, it, it helped, it helped, so, yes, I don't know, where, where was I going with that, I don't know, <laughs> hey man, just, just, yeah, just that original point, I guess, was where I was going with that, that purpose is whatever you give yourself, like, yeah, I think I'm just talking in circles now, hi Gareth, Shepard, hell of a day, Udina loses his mind, the citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. I heard what happened. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? On Caden? I don't think so. I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Caden didn't have to join Ash. Let's hope she's looking out for us. This was her fight too. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. <laughs> Hello, it's me, gun. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. Where's he gonna be? Is he gonna be in here? Nope. <laughs> nope, nobody fucking ever uses this place, apparently. How about in here? No. How about in here? Wait, what about here? Probably not, but... Nope. Okay, for realsies, in here. I know I can check the map, but it's more fun to be surprised. Hey, hey buddy. Hey buddy, those are called stars. Have you ever seen them before? <sighs> All seems so calm from here. There are people going through hell in a million different ways. Out there. I don't want to be fighting alongside them. I want to be here, you know? Sure. Thinking of anyone specific? I heard from my mom, Shepard. My dad is, uh... He's M.I.A. <sighs> he's presumed. Damn, dude. Sorry to hear that. Tell me what happened. You said they got out of Vancouver. He left mom at the orchard and reported for active duty. It's all we know, but... It's, uh... It's enough. She's alone in this now. In all this. Sorry, man. I feel for you, Caden. And I'm glad you told me. There's strength in camaraderie. In empathy. Thanks. You're right. I don't know how you do it, Shepard. Keeping it all together like you do. Earth is always in the back of my mind. I'm not taking a renegade from me. I get that. I do. And my students. Well, wherever they are, I know they're kicking ass. On Earth or somewhere. You know, when this war is over, there's gonna be one hell of a reunion party. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Dancing in the streets, hugging and crying. My mom's always wanted to travel off planet. I think I'll take her. Thanks for coming by. Good to have you back, Caden. That was nice. Like, fuck knows what that renegade prompt was. It could have been, like, telling him stop being fucking soppy or something. Or it could have been... Who knows? Who knows? But it's not worth the risk with renegade prompts. Like, paragon prompts are always going to be a good thing. But the renegade prompts, like, they might just be a... Like, a rousing speech of some description. Like... We will do this, Caden. We're gonna get through it. Like, or it could have been, shut the fuck up, Caden. Stop talking like a little bitch. You're like, you never know. You never know with renegade prompts 
how bad they're going to be. So it's not worth risking in situations like that. Hey, I bumped into Edie in the hall. Scared the shit out of me. You could have warned me. She looks good, though. <laughs> That's what I said. I said I bet he's got over it all right because she looks hot. Getting settled? Not much to unpack. Left Earth in a hurry. Just the clothes on my back and a few things I've picked up in the Citadel. Kind of like it. Living lean. That is actually fucking hilarious. Cerberus didn't cut corners rebuilding this place. There's a whole lot of credits in here. Can't wait to get back out there. Can't wait to get back out there. All right, we have another member of the fucking crew. We love to see it. We love to see it. Let's head back to here, see what Liara's got going on. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. Sup, girl? Perhaps we can talk later. Or not. Audio recording from Councillor Gougier's Senate office. I don't know which one is Gougier. Secretary Phillips, the emergency fund's gone, sir. We don't have the credits to hire enough ships to evacuate the colony before the Reapers get here. Not with the prices their captains are asking for. What about the military? They left an hour ago. They said... They said it's too much of a risk to come back. Did they? Yes, sir. Here. This... Th is this the pass key, sir? And an inventory? Phillips, I'm authorizing you on behalf of the city senate to seize any and all ESO stockpiles in our treasury in order to secure safe passage for our citizens on any available ships. These look like private stockpiles. Senate members' stockpiles. I'm foregoing re-election. Now get us those ships. Yes, sir. Fuck. I don't know who Gougier is, but fucking what a gr what a great person. We like Gougier. Anything new there? No. What a great fucking person. At your service. So much of politics seems to be just like saying what they hope the majority of people want to hear and not actually making progress on stuff like in hopes of getting re-elected again. One thing I definitely do like about America's political system uh, is the the two term limit for any one person I definitely think that's a good thing and I, I would like that to be implemented here because the fact like knowing that you can't go for re-election again means that you are free to make choices that you quite possibly would not make if you were going for re-election and then you thought that some people would be mad about it or whatever and then you might hurt your chances like i don't know i feel like the two term limit freeing people up to make bigger changes that could help you, people i do think that's a good thing commander an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you oh yeah what's going on doctor refugees arrived at the citadel recently in possession of military grade medical supplies and equipment in reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Sure. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me, but you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. I mean, one Medigel already fully heals me, but uh, sure. <laughs> it would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Speak to Tactus. You should be able to find him near the docks. It would help all involved cool. if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugee. And of course, like, going back to the two-term thing. Well, how did I even get onto that? I don't even remember. Oh, right, the terminal in the Iris thing. Like, obviously, the party doesn't change. So, it might, if that was implemented here, 
it probably wouldn't have the same effect here, I guess, because UK politics are much more focused on the party than the person in charge, whereas American politics are much more focused on the single leader kind of thing. So it may, it maybe it wouldn't have the same effect here, but I don't know. I just like it as an, as an idea. Engineering. Hello, Javik. What's your hot take on this situation? Javik, is it as terrible as most of them? Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, his death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others would be tolerated. I was about to say an actual good take when he said traitors are the worst form of enemy. Because like, yeah, you know what? Probably agree with that. And then he's like, so we rip off their limbs and make them eat them. <laughs> like, okay, a little bit farther. I would like to visit the citadel again, when it is not infested with traitors. The Kai Leng human bears watching, Commander. I sense that the blood in his veins is very cold. Yes. 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 Boop. Oh, these guys run out of fucking quips and shit. Power grid is in the green. Damn. Nothing to report, Commander. One of my favorite parts of touring the ship is seeing what new banter these guys have. And if they haven't updated after a massive thing like that Citadel mission, then they probably are done. Sad times. Sad, sad times. Breaking now, the Citadel in flames. A brazen attack by Cerberus, repelled by CSEC. Alliance Marines hey. explain the Council Fleet's delayed response. We speak with the brave men and women who fought the good fight in the battle space. Commander, I've got some questions about the coup, but I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? Sure. Actually, didn't we have, uh, we've got, we've got to invite, um, trainer to our cabin as well. Call me up when you're ready for that interview, Commander. Will do. And last but not least, we have the shuttle bay. Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. I can't believe Medina. Great example to the other races, huh? Is everything okay, Shepard? Sir. So. Hello. Hey, Commander. Is that it? I knew Dino oh, no. was a dirty bastard, but I never would have guessed he was that rotten. This whole war is loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but... Ah, oh, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot first, ask questions later policy when it comes to politics. <laughs> Fair enough. That uh, might go poorly for you. Hey. Cool. Right. To the cabin. Don't know why I thought I needed to turn around to go into the cabin there. Invite trainer. Uh, is there an invite Diana option? Or is that something I can't do until after I invite trainer, I guess? Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? I wanted to do Diana first because I figure I'll enjoy trainers more. Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? With you? Anytime. Wait. I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. GUI interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. <laughs> yeah, sure right. Real world expertise will give you an edge. Yeah, right. She's about to rinse me. Ha! Oh, come on. 
my word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. <laughs> in real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 square grid. You know what I mean. And the pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other's a Krogan? <laughs> yeah, I get it. That's me. What the fuck? <laughs> what? What? Oh my god. <laughs> what is this choice? Continue talking about the joke or hey, wanna fuck? <laughs> and the other doesn't have a smart ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles pipeline. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. I presume if I'd asked if she wanted to fuck, she would have been like, no dude, I'm not into dudes. <laughs> but uh, we're with Liara anyway, so I wouldn't have asked anyway. Uh, right, Diana time. Trainer, can you send Diana? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Yeah, I, I figured Ready this won't be as fun as trainers, but still. I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Honestly, still don't fucking know how they could have possibly done that, but uh... Oh well. <laughs> Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. Yeah, because he was in league with them. Fuck it. And the prime minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. <laughs> Shepard, head in hand. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. Oh, shit. Liara, you're not watching, are you, Liara? Li Liara? You, you're, not, you're not watching, right? <laughs> no, let's keep this professional. But that's interesting. Like, I was joking about, like, romancing her. I didn't actually expect her to be a romance option, not gonna lie. But that's sure as fuck sounds like it's a romance option line. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Oh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. She definitely intended to send that signal. There is no way. There is no way that was an accidental, ooh, I just didn't mean to do that. Wait, James wants to come up? Did James say he wanted to come up? I don't remember that. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. God, it's just a fucking... <laughs> everyone's lining hey, up man, outside Shepard's door. Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want sure. your own ship, Vega? <laughs> yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Should I lift heavier weights? Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. Why, have you been you asked? The best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? 
Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. Damn, dude. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I lot to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. I mean, sounds like you did do the right thing. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Do it, man. Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here are it's a little too soft for me. <laughs> the bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, Loco. Anytime. I really like him. I do really like him. Oh, nice. We got his thing from that. Cool. We got some more armor options, right? Uh, That's just the set. <laughs> the death mask. What the fuck? That's the visor from, uh, that we were using through most of 2, right? <laughs> ah, yes. It's the gimp hood. <laughs> Who was it that was wearing the gimp hood in, in 2? I remember someone wore, <laughs> wore that and it was fucking hilarious. Was it, was it Thane? It might have been Thane. Fond memories. But, uh, no, we'll stick with no helmet. Uh, what else have we got here? That's kind of cool. Not as cool as the regular one, though. Fat shoulders, thin shoulders. Regular shoulders for those. We got these Ariake technology ones. Yeah, they're still cool. Legs. That's pretty cool. That's what we've got. Could go for that. I don't like that there's, like, no armor on the back at all. <laughs> like, armor on the front, and then just nothing. I feel like we need something there, you know? I actually quite like these. What does it do for me? Way less health. That's like almost half less health. So actually, fuck that. <laughs> that's uh, suddenly looking like a worse idea. Right, cool. That's everyone there. How are you doing, Space Hamster? Right on, man. Right on. Okay. So. Admiral Anderson is available in the war room on Oh? 
Commander Shepard. I do wonder what the fuck is the point of that slow walkthrough thing. Because I'd say it's because they're hiding a loading screen. But, like, it's almost an identical layout of the ship to 2, and they didn't need to hide a loading screen in 2. So surely they wouldn't need to hide a loading screen in 3 either? But I just don't get the point of making you slowly, like, you have to stop and wait for that thing to scan you and everything. I don't know, weird. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. Well, they're gonna have a bad but time. <laughs> you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate. That was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Faith. That any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Oh? Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. Okay, didn't expect that. Fucking... I've, I've lived in London. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Okay. London, eh? What the fuck's going on in London, then? Love me some London. What have we got new here? Alliance, uh, 103rd Marine Division, nicknamed the Bridge Burners. Is that new? Uh, team Zeta are combat engineers who specialize in destroying enemy fortifications in hostile territory. This tight-knit group of men and women are respected for their knowledge, renowned for their tenacity, and infamous for their enthusiasm. I think that's new. Oh, and this is new. Commander Shepard's interview with Diana Allers about the attempted takeover of the Citadel noted Cerberus's tactical missteps, which improved the morale of Alliance ground forces. Nice. And ex Cerberus. Ex-Cerberus Engineers. Kelly Chambers contacted several Cerberus Engineers, convincing them, as a way to make up for their mistakes, to come out of hiding and help build the Crucible. Appalled at how Cerberus has turned on humanity, these Cerberus deserters have thrown themselves into their new task with a passion. Nice. Love a bit of passion. Boop. Boop, biddly-oop, bop, boop, biddly-oop. Commander. Like, why? What is the purpose of that? Why? Why? Commander. Alrighty, so... We have about a million fucking things to do, and I think most of them are just scanning planets, so I guess let's see just how many new areas there are on the map, huh? Let's have a look. Our survey says... Actually, not as many as I thought. Far Rim. Speak with the Quarians. That's going to be the main mission. Very much looking forward to that. Right, so I maybe the places that had nothing in them before will now have stuff in them. Because the things that were 100% appear to still be 100%, so it's not like new things to scan have appeared in those. So I guess that's how it works. There wasn't anything to find in them before, but there is now. Investigate Asari Colony. Okay, that's an actual mission, I guess. And find ex Cerberus Scientists is an actual mission. That's a new one. Sigurd's Cradle. Alrighty, let's head up here then. Let's start our scanning spree. Scanning spree. 
Organic frenzy. All right, they didn't love that. Scan, 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 scan. Is there really nothing to find? Is there really nothing to find? I found something faster than light jump successful. Well, there's just one thing, and it's going to be fuel. So I guess we'll get it when we go back. What is with these fucking weird systems? Signal confirmed. Garvag. Considered a bargain world given to the Krogan to placate them because no one else wanted to live on such a frozen rock. Great. Technically a life-bearing world, Garvag has a small farm belt around its equator and well-insulated marine life in its seas. By the turn of the century, the Krogan had adapted, breeding hundreds of younglings per family in vast underground bunkers. By the turn of the next century, Garvag's narrow strips of coral reef had been destroyed by overfishing and pollutants, and excess Krogan took to the stars to find another planet to consume. Garvik was treated as an object lesson by the Citadel Council. The Krogan could not be trusted to check their own numbers. Do the Krogan actually have birth control? I joked about this before. Like, we need to give Rex a condom. But, like, have they been introduced to birth control as a fucking concept at all? I don't even know. Because, like, if we can just train them up on that, <laughs> then, uh, like, hey, look, you can do all the fun parts without actually having a bunch of kids, you know? Crazy prospect. Today, Garvag is a frozen wasteland, home to corporate eco-engineering efforts trying to implement sustainable agri- and aquaculture practices. Krogan and Vorcha packs are a constant threat, and the corporations pay mercenaries well to keep their operations safe. What have we got? Bonk. Splat. Prothean data drives. Woohoo! We love to see it. Is that 100? No, that's 50. So the other thing's fuel right here. 160 units? Oh, you're spoiling me. That was enough to fill me up though, so I'll take it. Evasion successful. Do, 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 do. Man, this is so beautiful. I love these backgrounds of these clusters. Or systems. Whatever the right word is. I think it's system is the mul like this is a wait is this a is this a system or is this a cluster no this is a system and then the cluster is a cluster of systems yeah i found something that makes sense alohi aloha uh anything interesting here not really nice pink planet though emergency fuel pods war acid acquired alrighty that's 33%, so there's a bunch more shit here. Reapers eluded. Farless. Nothing. Donk! Element zero converter, all right. And more fuel just here. Actually, you know what? Let's go out and back in for that. Faster than light jump successful. Just give us a little bit more space, you know? Is that back up to full? Sure is. Little bit more room to maneuver. So that's 83, so the only thing left is the fuel that we will pick up when we jump back in here. Which is a whopping 95 units. Truly, we have been blessed today. Reapers eluded. That's now 100%. Good, good. Boom. What is this? Oh, right. We, we have been here before. We just didn't get anything from scanning before, yeah. There must be stuff to find now, right? 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 Surely? Surely. Faster than light jump successful. Surely. No Reapers here? 
There is seriously still nothing to scan here. Are you joking? Is this comedy? Why? What is the purpose of these fucking systems? Ah! I'm gonna lose my mind! Why do you exist? Stop existing! Evasion successful. I nearly fucked that. I nearly fucked that good and proper. What about here? Is there anything here now? Bada bing bada boom. No? Really? Why do you exist? Why? Why? So does that mean, because this was here before as well. So does that mean there's nothing here either? How could this happen to me? Oh wait, this was Sir Cash, right? Yeah. So, it makes sense there's nothing in this one, I guess. Uh, that's a hundred, that's a hundred, that's a hundred. This is new. Oh, thank God. Tavura, uh, ancient Asari goddess of love, sex, travel, and law. Nice. <laughs> Don't think I've ever seen a goddess that is both the goddess of sex and law at the same time. Spheres of influence whose overlap initially baffled. Oh, right, there we go. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. I make a joke about it and then it immediately agrees with it. Asari reproductive instincts are strongly exogamous. Don't know what that means. And before alien contact, their instincts sent the Asari roaming outside their kinship groups to avoid mating with relatives. Right. Yes. I mean, I don't think avoiding mating with relatives is something anyone would have an issue with. <laughs> Let's avoid the fuck out of that. The journeys necessitated a system of rules governing guests, fugitives, and alliances all watched over by the goddess Tavura. The Reapers have ignored Tavura so far, its science stations and moon-based mining equipment offering little strategic importance. It is likely a destroyer will eventually be sent here to exterminate any civilians. Well, that is the easiest one we've ever had. It is literally on top of where we start. Incredible. Fucking incredible, mate. Fucking incredible. I don't know what accent that was supposed to be. But whatever it was supposed to be, it was an excellent impression. Facts. Oh my fuck. That is a fat amount of places. That's a girthy amount of places. Boop. I found something. Okay, that's just fuel. Is there anything else that isn't just fuel? Aha. Eggalick. Love to lick eggs. The system's only gas giant has rings laced with the faintest traces of element zero dust. Uh, mineral rights, reaper invasion stopped any deal going through. Loving these easy ones. Sign me the fuck up. Asari research ships, eh? Hello! Can't fucking catch me, bitches! How mad? How mad are you? You fucks. Whap that back up to full. Then let's go Faster abroad. La Lessa. I hope you have a lot of fuel here, La Lessa. Otherwise, I'm going to be sad. You won't like me when I'm sad. Ha 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 ha. Don't tell me it's this tiny fucking planet right here. Yeah. What a shock. Trickle on. Uh. 
It's home to the centuries-old Asari venture called the Tiri Super Collider. This massive particle accelerator encircled the entire planet at an orbital distance. When political sea change among the Asari republics led to funding cuts, human scientists stepped in with the credits and labor to finish the project, renaming it the Sus Kind Super Collider. That's pretty, pretty sus, dude. It came online just days before the Reapers invaded the galaxy. Well, that's good timing. When the Reapers entered the system, they dispatched a swarm of capital ships towards Tricolon, treating the Super Collider as a greater threat than the Asari naval fleet stationed at Sanvez. They blasted it apart, sending debris hurtling to Trigolon's surface. Several ships carrying Super Glider staff escaped before the Reapers hit. Motherfucker. They completed it just days before the Reapers invaded the galaxy, and then the Reapers arrived and was like, Yeah, now fuck that shit, dude. <laughs> just blew it up. You hate to hear it. Imagine working on that. Imagine spending years of your life making that thing. You're like, Yes! At long last! My work is complete! Three days later. <laughs> no! <laughs> Sorry, engineers. Nice, nice. That's 50%. Hey, hey, there's the other... There's the fuel. Give me that fuel, dude. 500 units. That's what I'm fucking talking about. That is the big boy numbers we love to see. Reapers eluded. We greatly enjoy seeing those numbers. Be -do, be -do, be -do. I found something. Pelissa, nothing there. Blah. Hesperia period statue. The fuck is one of those when it's at home? That's a cheeky 50. Where is the fuel? Give me the fuel. Found it. Faster than light jump successful. Yum, yum, yum. 400. Yum, yum, yum. 400. Bye. Evasion successful. Do, 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 do. Signal confirmed. Pronoia. Uh, large deposits of platinum, precious metal, single-handedly saved Sirta from bankruptcy. A debt that is rapidly being repaid galaxy-wide through Sirta's humanitarian efforts. Nice. Boop. Sorry, Cruiser Nifrani. Is is Thessia in this area? Because, uh, like, in these in this cluster of systems, because I feel like we've been getting a hell of a lot of Asari stuff over here. And I don't know if that's just, you know. They just staged outposts here or whatever, or whether this is actually near where uh, Reapers eluded. the Asari joint is. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Are there any of these, Thessia? Boop. Ah! It is! Nice! I'm smart. Sometimes. The Asari homeworld has been called the crown jewel of the galaxy, the apex of democracy, and the beating heart of galactic love. Its republics have a remarkably low incidence of war, disease, violent crime, or famine, riding a stable economy backed by wealthy colonies and Thessia's vast element zero reserves. Traces of Ezo in the water and soil are so common that most life on Thessia has adapted to its presence. Thessia's fortunes have been upended by the Reaper Assault. The communications infrastructure that forms the backbone of the society's e-democracies has been eliminated. Millions are without power, water, or food, a move to coerce the Asari into widespread surrender. This is a necessary part of the Reaper strategy since husks alone have difficulty disarming or capturing a population full of biotics. Cool, interesting shit. Right. 
I think it's time for a actual side mission. What do you say? What do you say? Have we got... We've got two side missions available here. Should we find the ex-server scientists or should we investigate the Asari colony? Which should we do first? Let's investigate the Asari colony. 